everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be an anti-haul, purchase or pass, will I buy type of video. And I'm really excited because there are so many new releases out right now and we have to talk about it. If you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload five times a week, Monday through Friday, and I'd love to have you come join my channel because we're doing a giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. And my goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So if you could subscribe to me, it would mean the absolute world. Okay, we have a, a lot to talk about here, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first item we're gonna talk about here is REM Beauty from Ariana Grande. I was really excited because I was, I'm a huge Ariana Grande fan and I was kind of hoping that this would be it. I don't like it. Oh, uh, I feel really bad. Okay, but like the eyeshadows don't look very, like they look kind of cheap. They're $24. Lashes, I'm just not a lash wearer, so discontinue that. I don't even know where this is being sold. We have like some mascaras, eyeliners, liquid shadows, um, coal liners, highlighter toppers, matte lipsticks, lip stain markers, lip glosses. I don't know. I'm just, I was just expecting more. Sorry, I kind of had to adjust my lighting here a little bit. It looked a little weird, but I was just expecting more and I feel bad, but I don't like it. Um, maybe chapter two would be better, but I'm not feeling it. Okay, next item here on the list is Makeup Revolution and their collaboration with Elf, like the movie Elf. Um, I think it'd be really funny if Elf Cosmetics collaborated with Elf, Elf the movie. I think that'd be kind of fun. Overall, again, this is one of those things where I'm like, really? Like, you had an opportunity here. The palette is kind of fun, I would say, but it's kind of all over the place. We also have some candy cane lip glosses. These are really cute, by the way. Um, lip Care Duo, a Forest Balm Trio, which I don't even know what that is. Eye Glistens, we have a primer, a Christmas cheer highlighter. There's a ton of stuff in here. Fixing spray, brush set, makeup bag, body spray, body drizzle, snowball bath fizzers, and even body butter. So this is a very large collection. I feel like they are able to get stuff out really, really fast. I just am not feeling it. They also, on top of this other palette, they have like a book palette that swivels out. So I don't know. I, <laughs> they have a ton of stuff in here. I feel like it's crazy how many items Makeup Revolution comes out with for a collection. Like it's kind of crazy, but I am not going to be getting it. I'm going to pass on it. So Natasha Denona recently released these Glam Face and Eye palettes. We have one for a little bit deeper skin and lighter skin. They're $59 each. They have a cream blush and a highlighter, and they have five eyeshadows. Okay, now I've seen a couple reviews on these. I don't know, this just looks really overpriced. I feel like with a lot of more expensive makeup, maybe you are paying for Natasha Denona. Her stuff is really good. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's really good, but I don't think I could per I could personally pay $15 for that. I just think that's way too much. So I am gonna pass on it. But it is, it is pretty. I just have all these colors. Like, I just don't think I, I, I don't think I need it. I think I would only buy it to review it. But even so, what's the point of that? Beauty Bakery is releasing this sweet potato pie palette. It retails for $14. It's a bite-sized palette. And I guess you can only get it at um, Target and CVS. This is really pretty. I really like it. I think it's perfect for fall. Um, I'm probably going to be passing on it. Just because, again, I have those colors and I'm really trying to be a little more selective with what I buy. Like, I'm not too selective with what I buy sometimes with eyeshadows and I try to kind of want to start doing that a little more. But yeah, don't judge me if I, you know, don't follow that, <laughs> that personal rule of mine. But I just think I don't really need it. I do like Be um, not Be <laughs> Beauty Bakery's eyeshadow quality though. It is really nice. So I wanted to mention this, Tati Beauty is closed. That makes me really, really sad because I think Tati Beauty was a phenomenal brand. Her palette, amazing. And I kind of wish I would have bought a backup of her palette before it closed. I remember before it closed, I was actually contemplating getting a backup, but ugh, I'm so sad. I can only imagine how hard that was with everything that was going on with her, but yeah, I just wanted to mention it because 
you guys know I love my Tati Beauty palette. It is one of my favorites, so I am really sad about it. All right, so Jaclyn Hill released a jewelry brand, and this is called Jaclyn Roxanne. Now, I have seen some reviews on that as well. As a former jewelry salesperson, let's just be honest here. Her stuff is gold-plated, and that, my knowledge, and from what I remember, it's been quite a couple of years, I usually don't recommend somebody to get a gold-plated item, and I know she said, because I've, I've watched her video on it and stuff, you know, she says it doesn't come off in the shower and stuff. You know, a lot of rubbing, you know, even with taking a ring on and off or a necklace rubbing against, you know, your body oils on your neck or something, that can break down that gold. Gold is a very malleable metal, and if you are to get something, because the price of gold... I would say over the past couple years is astronomically high. I just think for what it is, is my guess is that it's just like a base rhodium type metal underneath and it's just plated with gold. That's kind of what I'm guessing here. Um, so I do think they're a little overpriced for what they are. Um, Allie Dawson did a review on it and I really liked it. I thought it was very nice. Jacqueline has some beautiful pieces. I'm not gonna lie, I like them. I think they're very nice, but I think, I feel bad saying this, but like it, it, it's overpriced. I would recommend if you are going to go down that road of getting a little bit nicer item, but not, you know, spending like five, six, seven hundred dollars on a, a 14 karat gold necklace, um, look for something that's gold filled. That's going to be a little more um, sturdy <laughs> with the gold or it's not just going to like rub off over time and stuff. So just keep that in mind if you are shopping, especially for the holiday season coming up. I did do an engagement ring video last year. So I'm going to link that down below for you just to kind of review if you are looking to purchase an engagement ring or just a nice piece of jewelry in general. I will be passing on it. I don't normally wear a ton of jewelry. I used to way back in the day. Um, I usually just kind of keep to my staple pieces. I have a really nice like opal bracelet that I like. I have a couple nice necklaces that I wear and I just kind of keep it with that. But I would love to expand my jewelry collection, just probably not with this brand, but I do think that, they, that it is very, very pretty. And if you know a Jaclyn Cosmetics fan in your life or a Jaclyn Hill fan in your life, I would say, I would maybe look into it. It is cute. The way she kind of layers her pieces and stuff, it's super cute. I can't help it. So next, Lunar Beauty came out with their holiday collection. I think this is their holiday collection. Um, this is the Outer Dimension. So we have this Outer Dimension contour palette. So I'm reading a Frog Trend Mood, by the way. <laughs> Each of these items, are, all these photos are from Trend Mood, and I'm not hating on any one of these brands. This is a creamy, blendable, neutral toned, bronzing, brightening powders that deliver radiance blurring with a long wear, soft focus, skin like finish. With vitamins C and E, help improve the skin's brightness and hydration. Very interesting. I think this is a very nice palette. I kind of like the outer dimension kind of vibe to it. I, I like it. I think it's very nice. Um, came out with a couple lip glosses, a liquid lipstick. Um, a brush set very nice the brush set. so the palette itself retails for 49 you can purchase the palette and the brushes for uh, 55 lip glosses are 17 liquid lipstick is 18 the lip bundle is 55 and then the face brush face brush set is 65 and then they're all priced individually as well I like the look of those brushes. They're very pretty. Um, for the time being, I think I am gonna pass on it. I just, I would say I just don't need it. Uh, <laughs> I, I love a good face palette, but I find myself oftentimes reaching for a single rather than a palette, which I need to get better on because I have a lot of face palettes. So ColourPop uh, released their part two to the Star Wars Mandalorian collection. As you guys know, I love my Baby Yoda palette. It is one of my all-time favorite palettes i love the greens in it i just think it makes my eyes pop i love the tones of it where it's not too like grass green or like bright green it's just more of like a mossy kind of dark green and i love that so they now have one for the mandalorian and it's like kind of grayish toned i really like it i think this is going to be so fun they also came out with a luxe lip oil duo where it's kind of like a clearish, like glittery one and then more of like a neutral. And then um, they came out with a cutest in the galaxy makeup bag. Oh, I'm a sucker for Baby Yoda. 
I like the show too. I love the Mandalorian show. I think it's great. And then they also came out with a little hand mirror. So I'm going to be purchasing this. <laughs> I, but I'm not going to be purchasing the whole collection because I just don't need the whole collection. I'm very selective with like, I don't really like to buy the whole collection of things all the time. I have before, but not always. So I do want to get the Mandalorian eyeshadow palette. I don't need the baby one. I already got it. Love it. It is one of my favorites. I do want to get the hand mirror because it's only 12 bucks. And then the lip oil duo. I'm not going to get the makeup bag. I have so many makeup bags, you guys, from over the years. I don't need another one, but I am going to get those three items. And a review is coming over Vlogmas. So Dominique Cosmetics. I feel like we just, didn't she just came out with, come out with a palette? Well, she's come out with another one. Um, this is, I think that this is a high holiday palette. There's pine cones and pine and stuff in the background, so I can only assume. But they have the Unconditional Palette. This is really pretty. I I was immediately drawn to it when I saw it. Um, it's 28 bucks. The only thing I would say, I'm just picky. I'm a picky person in general with everything in life. Don't judge me here. Uh, but I think, you know, we have that top middle shade and then we have the lower left shade. I think that those two are really, really similar. And if you're gonna have a six pan palette, I think you should have a little bit more variety in that sorts. But that glitter, I love a good glittery, like pressed glitter, and it's really pretty. We also have some liquid lipsticks, I think. So this is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I will not be purchasing it, though, for the time being, but this is a very nice thing. And I think this would be also a good holiday gift. And I'm going to do a gift guide for beauty lovers over Vlogmas as well. So I was super excited when I saw this. <laughs> Remember when I said that I don't, I'm trying not to buy palettes that have like a bunch of the same colors I already have? Yeah, well, this is the Tarte Tartlet Full Bloom Collection. Now, they came out with a full bloom eyeshadow palette, and it's from their Amazonian Clay Formula. I really like their Amazonian Clay Formula. It's amazing. Last year, I purchased the Tartlet Juicy Palette, and that's really, really good as well. This one has 28 new rosy plum and bronze neutrals. It's $52. That kind of made me like... A little bit <laughs> uh, but they also came out with this 12 Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in bloom which is a soft corally pink I'm gonna be passing on that and I'm also gonna be passing on the mascara which I am wearing that mascara today but I just have a lot of those mascaras so the only thing I would purchase is probably the palette uh, so I think a review is coming <laughs> over vlogmas because I have no self-control Makeup by Mario released these uh, nude eyeshadow quads and Let's see. Uh, yes, they retail for $25. He came out with three of them. Honestly, I don't know. They're, they don't really like, it doesn't draw me in. While I love a good smaller palette, I kind of reach for larger palettes. So I don't really normally reach for quads in general. I think the tones are very nice. I mean, if it's makeup by Mario, I feel like it's gonna be good. But $25 for a quad. In my head, I cannot justify that. I think it's a little expensive, maybe because I have spent less than half the price on a ColourPop quad. So yeah, gonna be passing on it. All right, Jouer released their holiday collection as well. This is so pretty. What's with everyone on the neutrals lately? Because this is amazing. This is the uh, Le Mini Dip Matte and Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. It's like their iconic skinny dip palette. But this retails for 25 bucks. It comes with six shades. Gosh, that's beautiful. And we also have some lip toppers, a very simple collection. I'm all about that, those lip toppers. <sighs> those look awesome. Uh, so the retail, they retail for $20 each. You can get the whole Life of the Party set for $55. Not badly priced in my opinion. I'm probably gonna pass on it right now because I wanna buy there are other things that are catching my attention more at this time. So Milan Row Makeup collaborated with Doodles by the Bunny. If you don't know who she is, you should go follow her. She is so cool. She like draws out palettes and like creates them. And it's so cool. And I really like it because if, you, if there's like a collaboration that comes out where people are like, what the heck is this? She kind of comes out with her own version of it. It's so cool. And she's come out with like the actual palettes here for, you know, like Urban Decay or Anastasia or um, like so many brands. 
and it's really really cool I think she does a phenomenal job and I think it's really cool to actually see like one of her creations be put in a palette um, this retails for $39 I think this wow this is so pretty and like totally up my alley I am gonna pass on it because there are other things that I would like to review a little more <laughs> so but I do think this is really cool and I think this is only like the first to come because I think she's awesome. Colourpop released their holiday collection. Oh my god, I want this. I don't need it, but I want it. Um, this is called the Roaring Hearts Collection. And we get this really, really, really pretty 12 pan. Oh, it's 12? I'm sorry. 10 pan eyeshadow palette. Nice, neutral. Right up my alley. We have three graphics ink liners. We have a rose gold, gold, and a black. We have some lashes. We have some super shock shadow duos. We have some luster dusts, which are just like loose highlighters. And then we have this new, I think this is a new formula. Is this a new formula? Let me check. This might be. It's the Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquer. They came out in 10 shades of it. I am going to be buying a few items from this collection, not not the whole thing. Um, I really want to get one, the lighter of the two luster dusts because the rose gold one is, I already can tell it's going to be too deep for me. So I'm going to get the champagne one, I'm going to get the palette. I don't think I'm going to get the Super Shock Shadow Duos. I have my Disney Princess Heart of Gold set and I really like that. So I'm just going to kind of keep it with that. I think I'm going to pick up two lip lacquers to try. And I'm going to skip out on the liners, the lashes. So Kim Kardashian West Fragrance came out with three new fragrances as part of the Opals collection. I feel so bad. I told this to my friend Michaela the other day, but like, I've never smelled a Kim Kardashian fragrance that smells good. I don't know what it is, but they all smell bad in my opinion. And I know fragrance is like such a personal choice, so don't judge me. But she has four different, I'm sorry, three different items here. So we have Opal Mood, which is like a fruity floral. This one has bergamot. The top notes are bergamot oil, star, star fruit delight, melon dew, and golden currant. And then the heart is jabson, jas I can't talk. <laughs> Jasmine absolute or pour. I don't know what that is. Uh, fresh frieza, honeysuckle nectar, and karma floor. We have opal drip, which is gourmand woody. And we have, let's see, we have the top notes, which are citrus cocktail, dewy greens, and lavender. The heart is tag it. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm not good with fragrance stuff. Jasmine and Waterlily and the base is white, amber, sandalwood, silkwood, and cedarwood opor. And then we have Opal Energy, which is floral woody. That actually might be up my alley. This has lemon oil, orpor, ginger extract, um, pear. Um, the heart has tuberose, orange flower, and muget. Base is sandalwood, patchouli, and cedarwood, and musk. You can get the whole thing for $120. Ooh, um, so my guess is they're like 40 bucks a piece. It doesn't say how large they are, and they look from the picture kind of small, so I bet they're normal, like a one ounce fragrance. That's my guess. I was so excited about this when I saw this um, randomly in Treadmoon. I was like, no way. Okay, remember how I just said I don't use face palettes? Oops. <laughs> this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Blush Aesthetic Palette. This retails for $28 and it has eight matte and shimmer shades. You guys know I've been like pining after the red Jaclyn Cosmetics blush palette. I really want to get this. This is so pretty. I want this. I might buy this. Let me know what you think. Should I get this? I'm really on the fence with it, so let me know. Last one I'm going to talk about here, this is the new Melt Cosmetics Amore e Mariposas collection. I should say that this eyeshadow palette up here is beautiful. I think this is gorgeous. It's $70 though. I think Melt Cosmetics, I feel like I just, Melt Cosmetics is too expensive for me. Um, <laughs> we have some ultra matte lipsticks. These are $22 each. We have some glitter lipsticks that are only available in the set. I don't really know what that means. We have some perfectionist lip pencils, which are $19 each gel liners, pigment paints, um, hand mirror. This is a gorgeous collection. Um, we have a face and eye brush set for $109. Whoa. Uh, and then the whole PR box retails for $425. Whew. That just like hurt me. I really like the tones of the eyeshadow palette, but I have to be real like, okay, Anna, $70, you have these colors <laughs> in like the NYX 
uh, swear by it palette. So that being said, I am going to be passing on it, but I do think that this is an absolutely beautiful collection. And if you have a makeup lover in your life and maybe you're like shopping for your significant other, um, sister, whatever, um, and she likes a little color, this might be fun. This is a really fun palette. It's just the price. I can't justify that. I am going to pass on it. Oh, there's also a blush palette in here. I didn't miss that. There's also a blush palette for $58. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, there were a lot of new releases that came out and I'm really excited about it. So uh, do not forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, please help me hit my goal of reaching a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. It would mean so, so much to me. And yeah, let me know what you think. What do you want me to review? What do you think I should totally skip on in the comments down below? And I will see you in my next one. Bye.